Good morning and welcome. Um, today I'm just going to have a quick look at verse 4 from Psalm 23. Um, let's just do the verse first, shall we? Let's just read that bit first. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Before I became a Christian, um, I will have heard that so many times, um, mainly, I suppose, when you've been to funerals, because it is um, one of the most popular psalms for a funeral, and, and understandably, you can see why. Um, and when you first hear it, I think, as a non-Christian, certainly, um, it, it gives you that image that there's this this horrible revolting place this valley of death um it just doesn't sound nice does it at all but then when you go on to read the verse and you understand i will fear no evil how comforting uh is that i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me uh, when you was a child I'm, I'm sure i hope so like me that if you fell grazed an ear something uh, your mother or your father would come to you and they would say, oh, never mind, you'll be okay, That everything's fine. They would comfort you and they would watch out for you. And if you was, went somewhere that was a little bit dangerous, they would say, oh, come back, don't do that. Um, and I have them fond memories of being looked after and being cared for like that. And that's just what God does for us now. And when you hear these, these words, it automatically makes you think of funerals, doesn't it? Because quite obviously that's where the, it's used the most. And, and some people call Psalm 23 actually the funeral hymn. Uh, and there's no doubt um, that death is unavoidable. Um, it's going to happen to us, isn't it? And it's unpredictable. We never know at what point. So when we've lost so many people this year, uh, this past year, I should say, in, with COVID, uh, people we didn't expect to die, uh, people we, we certainly didn't want to die. We never want anybody to die, do we? But it just was so unpredictable and impartial it doesn't matter you can be a millionaire and you'll you'll still die you can be uh, um, the most famous person in the world and you will still die that it's inevitable uh, death is certainly impartial but these words are, are, are comforting for us certainly for, for for the people who are left behind I mean the thought that your your friend your relative is being looked after and they're not on their own. What a comforting thought that is. And and we are, um, we're just like sheep, aren't we? Because like a sheep needs a shepherd. We need a shepherd. And this is our shepherd. God is, is, is there with his rod and his staff to look after us. When I was in Kenya, uh, I used to see these young boys that they used to sleep under trees and they'd have a huge stick or a, a club or something. And, and they were shepherds to the, the flocks. Not just sheep, it was cows and it was other animals, camels, etc. But these young boys used to go out and sleep under the stars just to protect uh, their animals. And that's what God does. God is there all the time to protect us. And and yes, those, those uh, few words in verse 4, they are a very reassuring and comforting verse. And they are something to hold close in times of bereavement. But let's just look at that verse again. Uh, there's another version, uh, say another version, another um, way to read this. And, and that is, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. Now, that doesn't automatically talk about death, does it? That's talking about us when we're in our times of, of trouble, when we're in our times of, of worry or, or in times of pain. That's God's there with us then. He doesn't wait for us to die to walk with us and to shepherd us. God shepherds us all the time and we need his protection right through our earthly life as well as when we leave this earth. Um, I mean, we, we do stray, don't we? In Isaiah um, uh, 53 verse 6, it says, all of us were like sheep that were lost, each of us going our own way. Well, isn't that just what we do? Sometimes we wander off and get into trouble, but we can trust that God cares for us and he'll protect us and he'll guide us. That's if we'll allow him to. And when we go through difficult times, we don't need to be afraid because we know that our shepherd is with us. 
We know he's there. He's in the midst of it. We can take comfort and, and, and know that he protects and guides us with his rod and his staff, as it tells you in the verse. Through bad times, through painful times, even when faced with physical death, we don't need to be afraid. He'll never forsake you. He will never leave you because God is our shepherd. Amen. Have a blessed and protected day. Bye-bye.